So Donald Trump has had two assassination attempts on his life now. One was seven weeks ago in Pennsylvania, Butler. And the second one was a few days ago outside his golf course in Mar-a-Lago. And what happened was there was a guy by the name of Ryan Ruth that was camping just outside his golf resort in Mar-a-Lago for 12 hours waiting for Donald Trump to play golf the next day. And where he was camping is actually a vantage point for photographers to take the best shot of Donald Trump whilst he's playing golf. So he was camping there for 12 hours with a AK-47, a scope, a GoPro camera, and he also had a vehicle. And he was basically hiding in the bushes, aiming at Donald Trump. He was only about 300 to 500 yards away, so he could have had a clear shot at Trump. And basically what happened was there was a agent that was walking ahead of Trump that actually spotted the AK-47 sticking out of the bushes. And he basically started opening fire. Ryan Roof threw the AK-47 away, got in the car, and apparently there was a woman outside the golf course that took a picture of his number plate, and then later he was caught in a high-speed chase by the police. So now he's under arrest, and he's been interrogated. But my question is, how is this possible? Like, how can a previous president of the United States have not one, but two assassination attempts on his life? What is the Secret Service doing? Why did they not scan the area before Donald Trump went onto the golf course? And as I said, the place Ryan Roof was camping was a vantage point for photographers to take the best shot of Donald Trump whilst he's playing golf. So do they not think to themselves, maybe we should check that place out? Do you think it's negligence? Or do you think it's incompetence? Because... If Biden or if Kamala Harris had an assassination attempt on their life, I can guarantee you the Secret Service would go to much bigger lengths to protect that individual. So it's not a conspiracy theory to think that maybe the Secret Service is being intentionally negligent. Maybe they want him to get assassinated. And if you combine that with the fact that the mainstream media and the establishment politicians the rhetoric they use about Donald Trump, they keep comparing him to Hitler and a dictator. There is no comparison between Adolf Hitler and Trump. Adolf Hitler killed millions of people, including 6 million Jews. Donald Trump was already president for four years. None of the fear-mongering they told us about him back in 2016 came true. All that happened was, was the economy was stable and then there was international peace. So now they are doing the same fear-mongering. And it's funny because, you know, all these tech companies and the mainstream media are colluding together with the establishment politicians. Because the, when the first assassination attempt happened, Google, you couldn't search it on Google, you know. And the mainstream media, after a week, they weren't even talking about it anymore. They were trying to brush it under the carpet. If the same thing happened to Biden or Kamala Harris, it would be the only thing we hear about for the next 10 years. But now we've had two assassination attempts on his life and the mainstream media is pretending like nothing happened so it's clear now that the mainstream media the corporations the tech companies and possibly even the secret service and you know what we call the fourth branch of governments you know cia fbi they are all colluding together to have either Trump assassinated or not become president. I don't think it's beyond the realms of possibility. I really don't think this is a conspiracy theory. Because how can you have two assassination attempts in the space of seven weeks? Or do you actually think it's incompetence? And if it is incompetence, why is that? Why is there no other president, you know, so being so neglected as much as Trump? Why is the establishment politicians and the mainstream media always comparing him to a dictator? And Hitler? And why is the tech companies trying to remove his picture of when he got assassinated? Or when you googled assassination attempt on Trump, it didn't come up until Elon Musk exposed it on X. When you start connecting the dots, it's not a conspiracy theory to think that, well, maybe the tech companies, the establishment, and the mainstream media don't want Trump to get elected. And maybe there is some conspiracy to assassinate him because they've already tried to cancel him. It didn't work. They tried to throw him in jail through the fake phony cases that he had. That didn't work. 
So the third option is clearly to kill him, you know? And I really hope Donald Trump survives. Uh, I really don't know what's happening truly, but I really think that the negligence that the Secret Service is showing is now getting to a point of like, really? You didn't scan the area before he went out for golf? The guy literally had an assassination attempt on his life seven weeks ago, you know? Or maybe, look, if you keep comparing someone to Adolf Hitler or a dictator, if you keep saying, oh, the world will end if he becomes president, even though he was president for four years already. If you're a mentally disturbed person, right, you would think to yourself, well, maybe I need to kill this guy. Maybe this guy is a threat to democracy. And Ryan Roof is clearly a mentally disturbed guy. So was the first assassin seven weeks ago in Pennsylvania, right? So I think the mainstream media and the establishment politicians, they are not taking enough responsibility over their rhetoric there is no comparison between adolf hitler and trump and if you actually look at trump's record he was actually a great president so i don't know where the fear mongering is coming from so it's not beyond the realms of possibility that someone hears that and thinks to himself oh maybe i should go and assassinate donald trump or maybe again it's a conspiracy from within maybe they want him to get him killed and maybe that's why they are being negligent so what do you think do you think it's incompetence or negligence? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Have you got what it takes to be a reasoned presenter? Well, send us a short clip of yourself to join at reasoned.uk and we might be seeing you on this very channel very soon indeed.